Today we're going to look at a few questions on ratio. So first question, in a school there are 640 children, the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys is 7 to 9. So the number of girls to the number of boys is 7 to 9. So whatever ratio we've got of girls to boys has simplified down to 7 to 9. If you add those 7 parts and those 9 parts together, you get 16 parts. We know there's 640 children all together, so 640 divided by 16 gives us 40 children in each part. We want to find the number of boys, so the number of boys is 9 times 40. 9 parts, 40 children in each part, gives you 360 boys. If you want to do a quick check, the number of girls would be 7 times 40. 7 times 40 is 280, and 280 plus 360 does give you the 640 children. So 360 boys. Second one I'm going to do, green paint can be made by mixing yellow paint and blue paint in the ratio 2 to 3. So yellow to blue is in the ratio 2 to 3. So for every two parts yellow, there's three parts blue. So our total number of parts we're thinking about are 2 plus 3, which is 5 parts. There's 15 litres of paint altogether, so each part can be thought of as 15 divided by 5, which is 3. So we want to find the number of litres of blue paint. So those three parts, I've got three litres of each, there's 9 litres of blue paint. And again, just as a check, for the yellow paint, there would be 2 times 3, which is 6 litres, and 6 plus 9 gives us the original 15 litres. Slightly longer question this time. A school has 840 pupils and 40 teachers. Find the ratio of pupils to teachers. So we want the ratio of pupils to teachers. We know there's 840 pupils and 40 teachers. Both of those will divide by 40. If I divide that by 40, I get 1. And if I divide 840 by 40, I get 21. So the ratio is 21 to 1. And that indeed is in the form n to 1, where the n would be the 21, and there's the number 1. So the final answer is 21 to 1. In year 11, the ratio of pupils who study chemistry to pupil who studies physics is 3 to 2. So we have chemistry to physics, and the ratio is 3 to 2. In year 11, 105 study chemistry, so there's 105 pupils there, and we want to find out how many pupils study physics. So do the same to both sides. What have you multiplied 3 by to give you 105, and you've multiplied it by 35. So do the same to the other side, multiply that by 35, and that gives you 70. So the number of people who study physics is 70. Then for the 105 pupils who study chemistry, the ratio of boys to girls is 4 to 3. So we've got the ratio of boys to girls, 4 to 3. And we know that altogether we have 105 pupils. 4 parts and 3 parts give me 7 parts. 105 divided by 7 gives me 15. So each part is worth 15 pupils. So the number of girls is 3 times 15, and 3 times 15 is 45. So there are 45 girls altogether who study chemistry. And again, as a check, if we do the boys, 4 times 15 gives me 60, and 60 boys and 45 girls gives you 105 pupils.
And then the last question. Pritam, Sarah and Emily share some money in the ratio 3 to 6 to 4. So we have Pritam, Sarah and Emily and they're sharing money in the ratio 3 to 6 to 4. Slightly different way of giving you the information this time. Sarah gets $15 more than Emily. And if you look at the way it's been shared out, Sarah actually has two more parts than Emily. So Sarah has two parts more than Emily. So that $15 that Sarah has more than Emily must represent two parts. So two parts is $15. So one part is 15 divided by two, which is seven and a half dollars. So to find the amount of money that Pritam gets, he gets three parts. So Pritam gets three lots of seven and a half dollars, which is 22 and a half dollars which is better written as 22.5.